We're on the Sand Hills Ranch in parts of uh, Edwards, Kiowa, Ford counties. It's about a 10,000 acre ranch. The Nature Conservancy recently bought this property. It's part of our work to conserve the last remaining large intact grasslands. I'm Matt Bain. I'm the Southern High Plains Grassland Project Manager with the Nature Conservancy. I work in Western Kansas and then parts of Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Southwest Kansas, working on uh, trying to conserve our remaining large intact grasslands. Grasslands are a lot of folks don't realize, you know, we hear a lot about rainforests and, and other ecosystem types, but grasslands are actually our most imperiled ecosystem on Earth. There, there's only a handful of very large intact grasslands left on the planet. And we have in North America, they're also one of our most threatened, uh, one of our most fragmented ecosystems. In this part of the prairie, they've been reduced by over 80%. So only 20% of that that system that was once vast and intact, only 20% of that remains. The primary threat to grasslands over time has been conversion. And that's conversion to cropland, conversion to development, uh, industrial, commercial development, roads, structures, those kinds of things. Cropland is important. It, it feeds our cells, it feeds a growing population all over the world. And, and the Conservancy invests a lot in cropland uh, conservation through healthy streams and in our, in our ag program. Um, but that 20% that's left, that, that has not yet been converted, is also extremely important for people. So that's where, you know, that supports Kansas's multi-billion dollar beef industry. It's important to these, you know, grass-based economies and communities that we live and work in. With this property, we were able to uh, acquire it from a multi-generational ranching family. And then we will uh, put a conservation easement on the property and then resell it and make sure that it, it stays a, a working ranch forever. And this is part of the state that's been converted by really over 90%. This is, this is the, the last uh, biggest ranch as you go through the sand prairie uh, along the Arkansas River. You know, about three or four years ago, we, we got together with a group of other uh, Nature Conservancy chapters and uh, formed a, it's called the Southern High Plains Initiative. There's two different kind of aspects to that work, like a lot of our work. And there's kind of the traditional land protection is what they've called it, like the conservation easements and buying land. There's kind of that side of it. And then there's the uh, management side of it. Most of the, the work that I'm doing is, is more related to the management side of it, helping local ranchers find resources, you know, USDA farm build kind of programs, those sorts of things to uh, help meet their objectives. That's kind of the management side of that work. And then the, the production side is, uh, is the conservation easements. And this project is, is mostly uh, kind of a protection type deal where the Conservancy buys it, we put an easement on it, we own it for you know three to five years and then resell it. You know, with that easement, it'll just make sure that it you know stays intact grassland, stays a working ranch forever. And then they can we can take the proceeds of the sale then and put it into a, a kind of a revolving fund where we would would be able to go and, and do that with a, a different place somewhere else on the, in the high plains the project that i'm working on the grassland stronghold or generational grassland it adds in some of the the management side of it so we might figure out ways to get the new owner some some incentives for certain types of management maybe for prescribed fire we might work with neighbors and and try to direct some of those farm bill programs in in and around the, the neighbors around here and see who might be interested in, in adopting some prescribed fire or uh, some drought management uh, practices and things like that. So it's kind of focusing the, the management side of it around these places that have that long-term commitment to conservation. This is Sand Prairie. It's a, a fairly large area uh, south of the Arkansas River throughout western Kansas where the sand was actually deposited millions of years ago. As these rivers, as the Arkansas River was being formed, the prevailing winds you know, blew this really fine sand out of that basin and it was deposited on the south side of the 
of the river. In this part of the sand prairie, you have sandhill plum that have, that have really kind of filled that role of holding the soil in these dune systems. In other parts of the sand prairie, you've got more commonly at a bigger scale, like eastern Colorado, parts of Oklahoma, southwest Kansas, it's sand sage that is, is really filling that niche of holding, the, holding those dunes in place. The sandhill plum in this area, primarily because of a lack of fire, have, have become a little bit out of balance. Uh, we've got a little higher uh, canopy cover of sandhill plum than what some of the priority species need. And so we're, we're gonna try to manage against that plum and get it to something like a, a 5% canopy cover. The other really important tool for maintaining these grasslands, in addition to fire, is grazing. And so that, that's really the, the primary tool, the primary ecological driver that, that we can use to manage the grassland plant community, but also the structure. One of the conservation targets on the Sand Hills Ranch is lesser prairie chicken. There are some leks on the property. And uh, in this part of the range, uh, the numbers have been greatly reduced. And so we're trying to figure out a way to use grazing and fire to improve that habitat. So this pasture, we were talking about the, the management during the term of our ownership. This northwest pasture, you can see it's, it's pretty darn woody, but overall it's got a lot of plum in it. And uh, so that, that's the one that we'll probably go ahead and write a burn plan for, and we'll start spraying those plums in that pasture. And we know that we'll have, because we've got a lek here, we know we've got a lek on the other side of that pasture that, that it should also have a pretty good impact on the chicken numbers. The ranchers are the stewards of what's left of our wild places in Kansas. There is no way to, to go about conservation without ranching and involving ranchers in that process. So, so that is uh, very much a, a part of what we're trying to do. We're, we're you know, trying to keep that last little bit of grass that's still in grass, keep it in grass, uh, but also work with our ranching partners to find solutions that work for, for them and, and, and for wildlife also.